Well, that didn't take you very long to do. Are you sure you went out there into the editor and wrote your program and compiled it and tested it? We don't want you just turning in bench work here without uh, actually doing, doing the job. That's the only way to really learn how to program is to get out there and code and compile and test and do it again. So here's our first answer to our programming assignment. There's our little program. We included standard I.O. Main is the same. Our hello world printf has been changed to hello period with a new line. The second line, the way I did it, is my name is and then another new line so that we wind up on the next line down and then my name and another new line so the cursor winds up underneath my name where it's supposed to be and not hanging off the end of it. Pretty simple. But you got to make sure you get those semicolons in there. You get all the double quotes where you want it. You use a backslash N and not a forward slash. Forward slash N will print exactly that, a forward slash N. A backslash N is called an escape sequence. And the escape sequence means turn this into something else. And the backslash N, of course, means new line. So that's why it goes down to the next line underneath uh, where you just were printing. Let's take a look at our second answer. Here's answer two, the same program, but remember this one is supposed to be all printed out on one line. We have the same three printfs, no reason to really change that, though we could, of course, put all of this text up inside the double quotes of just one single printf. But this was already this way, and if we're just doing maintenance programming, we don't want to mess with the structure of the code too much. We just want to make some simple changes, add the new functionality, compile, test, and get home. So there's our first printf, hello period, space. So it spaces out some. And then our close quotes, my name is space, and then my name with a period. And now we have a single new line. You had to get rid of those new lines to make this work. Not exactly rocket science, but it is actual programming, no matter what. So that's our two answers for this chapter's uh, programming assignment. And I hope that you uh, did the work. If not, go do your homework right now. You get in and out of that editor and make those changes and compile and test. That's the only way to do it right. So thanks for watching, and let's move on into more of the C programming language.